what do you do for receiving phone calls? And um, you said, uh, Levi said, I need to be, to be available when at home and would preferably like to continue using my cell number, but without being blasted with EMFs. Uh, that's a common question. There are also other Circle members that ask the same question. I can share what I personally do. I have my cell phone, but I also use uh, a VOIP. And a VOIP is a voice over, uh, 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 voice over internet protocol, if I recall correctly. So that's mm -hmm. basically you get a cell phone number, but over the internet. Uh, and uh, yes, uh, everyone, you can type in the chat uh, if you have an additional question. Uh, and uh, the questions I'm reading from now have been sent in advance, but of course, if you're live, you can send your question in the chat right now. So what I do is um, I have a cell phone number that I give everyone and it rings on my computer on a program called uh, Zoiper, Z-O-I-P, ER Zoiper 5, and I can uh, add this to the show notes. Let me take note right here. Um, and Zoiper is is okay. I found that it was a little bit, you know, the learning curve to kind of get it right. But there are other softwares. If you find a, a just a, a VOIP software, it can make it so that you're even able to receive uh, text messages because it really acts like a normal number, except in a few situations where certain phone systems will say, you, you know, we cannot send a text to uh, a, a, a VOIP number. However, I can tell you with my bank and with all these verification text messages, I'm getting all of them on my computer and my computer is wired with Ethernet. So in that case, I still get phone calls from the bank, from my accountants, and sometimes I, I even answer them on the fly. That's not something I, I, I like to do, but I, I do it when it's someone from a bank calling and that's the number they have. I also have, of course, the voice message attached to this VOIP. So what I do is with VOIP, what is neat is that you can set it inside the software in a, in a way where it will record an MP3 file and send you an email with it. So if Brian leaves me a message on my cell phone, it sends me an email saying you've received a voice message and I can listen to it right then uh, right th then and there from my uh, email software. So that's one way to do it. Uh, Brian, how do you personally do it for you? You have a, you know, a booming business, you're a busy entrepreneur. Do you keep your phone open sometimes with, you know, you have a large family as well. So how do you deal with this uh, kind of catch 22 situation where you want to avoid cell phone at the same time, you want to be available in certain situations? Yeah, well, I just, I have a voicemail on my phone that says, says, Hey, if you caught my, my voicemail, please text me. And when I go off airplane mode, I'll call you right back. And, uh, and that seems to work really well. Um, just in general, like that's, and that's something everybody could do right now is just kind of have that stance as far as your, your voicemail, like, cause, and what I've found too, is a lot of us don't really use the phone as much as we used to, like even 10 years ago, like as far as calling, it's mainly like texting and, and, uh, using it for other, other, uh, purposes and everything. But when I'm at home, I just have it plugged in to my wired connection with my Belkin adapter for for the iPhone Ethernet to uh, Lightning adapter, um, and they have Ethernet to USB C adapters for the new iPhones or for the uh, Android phones uh, as well. So you can do that. Um, that allows you to use data. Um, and all the apps that require data. So I can do telegram calls on there. I can do signal calls. I can do, uh, I can do WhatsApp calls. So any of those like messaging apps that also have calling abilities, you can use all of those with a wired connection with the adapter. Um, so if, if you're able to do that and like get all of your, uh, work people on that or if you want to get a different number that's another way to do it you can get a skype number or a google voice number um and you can uh just have that separate number on your phone and use the app to uh to to make and receive calls uh right from a wired connection that way 
Uh, and really the, the only reason that we have to jump through hoops like that, instead of just using like, like normally you can do Wi-Fi calling on a Wi-Fi network, mm -hmm. but the Apple and Android, they, they make it as far as I know, this is still this, this way they make, there's some kind of software glitch where it doesn't allow you, even though you've got access to the internet to make that call when you're on a wired connection. So there's some kind of software, um, you know, engineering blooper, or maybe not, maybe it's on purpose, I don't know, but it needs to be fixed uh, in order for us to be able to actually make like legitimate calls uh, out and in with, with a wired connection again. Hey, this is Nick, the EMF guy, Pino. I am the co-creator of the EMF Circle, along with my colleague, Brian Hoyer from Shielded Healing. What you saw today, this short video, is a preview of the longer interview that we did for our Circle members. Every month, we have a masterclass like one of these or a Q&A session with me and Brian most of the time. So you get personal support and attention on your EMF reduction journey. So if you want to reduce EMF because you are personally sensitive or you're just trying to take precautionary measures to better your health and minimize the risk associated with wireless and other types of EMFs, then the EMF circle is the place to be. We have a ton of archives now. We have several months worth of Q&As that you can listen back to. Everything is pre -record, is recorded. You can either join live or just listen to the replay. So we have a Cars mask Masterclass. We have a pr free protection masterclass uh, uh, also that we did, and we're going to have several other masterclasses moving forward. So we hope that you join us inside the EMF circle. Just visit emfcircle.com or click the link under the video to join us. I hope to see you then.